Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to do a real quick cook. But what I'm going to do while I'm cooking here is I'm going to try out the Gourmia GSV 138. They sent me this to do a quick little review on, and they said I could go ahead and give it away to one of my uh, my Facebook followers or YouTube followers. Um, if you guys don't know about it, I'm having a contest on September 1st where we're doing a drawing for some prizes and this is going to be one of the prize packs. Also we have some prizes for some of these Tao knives. So go ahead and follow me on Facebook. There's a link in, in the Facebook group uh, down in the description below. But if you're not already following me on Facebook in my group or on my page, you need to do that because there's a lot more interaction going on on the Facebook group and on the Facebook page than happens here on YouTube. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and try out the GSV I'm going to go ahead and try it out today on some chicken wings. So I uh, bought a bunch of chicken wings the other day and vacuum sealed them. I seasoned them up. This pack I, I, I seasoned with the Running Wild Smoky Paprika. So we're going to go ahead and throw these in the <clears> sous vide. <throat> and then we're going to throw them on the Camp Chef pellet grill to crisp them up on high. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. I'm going to go ahead and set up the, G the uh, GSV 138. And see if it works any different or if it performs just as well as the other ones I have. So, All right, I'll guys, be back, I just guys. took the uh, GSV 138 out of the box, and as you can tell, it looks pretty similar to the GSV 140, except the, the uh, face here is more rounded. It's about as tall, and just like all the other Gourmet uh, sous vide units, they come with a recipe book and guidebook that. I absolutely love and adore and as you can tell this face is uh, set um, towards the back just like the GSV 140 is so that you, when you clip it on the container that it um, the clip put it towards the front of the can goes in you can put it right on the front of your container which means you can see the uh, adjust it well and see it some of the other ones like the GSV 150 you have to actually clip it in the back here because the face is facing this way and the clip is on this side so you actually have to put it in the back which just means it's far away from you so if you see that I like this particular kind of want to show you how easy it is to set up two guys the buttons are really easy to push they're not as sensitive as the GSV 140 or the 150 it's really easy to uh, just shut it off that just pauses it and then the little scroll uh, for the temperature Motor um, seems to be going pretty good, and this is just like the other other uh, models. It's 1,200 watts, so it should heat the water up pretty quick and uh, get us cooking right along. So, so far it's working pretty good. Um, I like the faces. hours at 165 I think I'm going to go ahead and pull these off so I'm going to go ahead and get my grill fired up like I said I'm going to cook these on finish them up on the camp chef and I'm going to open up the sliding grill function of it and we're going to finish them up <music> lot of juice in that bag <laughs> and they're still kind of smoking here I got the grill all cranked up I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of the bag pat them dry get a little bit more rub on them and we're gonna get them on the grill all right I got them all patted down dry and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna spray just a little bit of canola oil on them just so that we can get them crisp up on the grill just not a lot just enough to crisp them up I'm gonna put a little bit more of the running wild smoky paprika on them they still got a lot of seasoning on them, but I'm going to put just a little bit more before we toss All right, them on the, the grill. All right, the grill's over 450 degrees. Got my wings out here, and I'm going to go ahead and slide the slide and grill knob open. So what that's going to do now, it moved my heat deflector over, and now the direct flame is coming up on there. 
So now we're going to go ahead and put these wings on and crisp them up. Shouldn't take long at all. So I'm just going to throw them on there. Let them get kissed by that fire. This uh, feature is only in a Camp Chef pellet grill. It's one of their newest features on their newer grill. All we're doing is crisping them up. Remember, they're already cooked. They're fully cooked already. So all we're doing is getting some color and getting some crisp to them. And they won't be on here very long. That fire is hot. It is hot and it won't take these long to crisp up. So I get them on and get the door closed. So right. last two. All right, I'll close them up and we'll see you guys back in a few. Hey the guys, they've been on there about three or four minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. Like I said, they shouldn't take long. So we're getting that direct fire on there. So that fire's coming up. Yeah, these are looking good. Yeah, it's been another couple minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. You see, they're getting good and crispy. tell this slide and grill feature on this camp chef works really well you can see the fire coming up all right guys they are done they're pretty crispy I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these try them. they're still hot Ooh. I will risk burning my mouth just for you guys you see them all crisped up mm. And cooked all the way through. It's still very tender and moist because of the sous vide. They didn't lose a lot of their moisture. Mm. Very good. Try them out, guys. If you haven't done sous vide wings before, try it out. Cook them up for about you know 165 or so for two hours. Perfect. Put them on the grill. Fry them up either way. Don't have to worry about them not being done, being dried out. Mm. I'll finish this one up. Join us on the next video, guys. I will be doing some more of this um, cooking on this camp chef. It's really, really like this grill so far. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. And thanks again. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.